Hey everyone, it's Jessica Edwards in Wilmington, North Carolina. I want to talk about multiple offers and the specifics of signed contracts and things like that. I've been talking about it a lot lately. A lot of people have been talking about multiple offers because there's such a lack of inventory in so many marketplaces across the country that, um, like specifically in Wilmington, there's just no inventory. So we're seeing these listings come on, you know, they're priced right and they look good and they're selling very quickly. And a lot of times we're having multiple offers. I just had another two listings have multiple in multiple offer situations um, in the last couple of days. Um, and something that often comes up during a multiple offer situation is, you know, getting the contract signed and getting things back. It's really important if you are working with a buyer's agent to make sure that they are mobile and that they are able to do things maybe electronically to get things back to the seller very quickly. And the reason I say this is because if you negotiate a contract verbally back and forth and everything's agreed upon, but nothing is signed and done, another offer could come in and the seller can negotiate on that offer. So it's up to the seller to choose how they want to handle that multiple offer situation. And the, the, the listing agent, by law, is required to obviously send their sellers any offer that comes in on a property, no matter what time in the transaction it is. So, you know, if everything's agreed upon and great and you're just waiting for signatures, that sounds great until another offer comes in. And we've seen this happen sometimes and people get really upset because they feel very offended. But I think people need to remember at the end of the day, it's a business transaction and everyone wants to do the right thing, but it's not the seller's fault if another offer comes in. And, and certainly, um, if it's more attractive, you know, they may want to negotiate that one. So just make sure if you're a buyer that you're getting those signatures back to your agent very quickly. If you're verbally negotiating back and forth, don't wait for the seller to send you something back. The buyer should be making the changes and getting it back immediately. Or the buyer's agent should be making the changes and getting it back to the listing agent immediately for signatures. That time sensitivity, it can often mean the difference and getting a property or not if it ends up in multiple offers. And you just don't want anything hanging out there. You know, expirations on things and stuff like that is always a great idea um, when we're in the kind of market that we're seeing now. So these are my thoughts. If you have any questions or comments or you disagree, please feel free to email me at jessicaedwards at seacoastrealty.com. And of course, you can check us out at thecarolinasfinest.com. Thanks so much for listening. Have a great day.